Hello, hello. So we're starting right on time. I jumped on a little later than I like to, but here we are. I cannot believe we have finished all nine experiments of Pam Kraut's book. And today we're wrapping up. The afterword. Lift each other up. It's good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Abraham Hex. High fives, fist bumps. You made it through the book and hopefully through the nine experiments. You bravely cast your hat into the ring. And that means the hardest part is over. But if you quit now, you miss the best part of the whole adventure. This is where payback begins. So she suggests we form a group. So I think that would be fantastic if we could just hashtag enter in this group here all the celebrations whenever something goes unexpectedly um, and um, expect the best. And in this group, we'll just put hashtag E2 celebration and it'll be so cool. We'll just be able to high five everybody because where two or more are gathered together, energy is explosive. Because even though the FP is always with us, always guiding us, sometimes it helps to have real human bodies to mind us. And heaven knows we could use the company. And that's why it's vital to find partners in crime, other spiritual warriors who are willing to listen, to cheer, and to remind you just why you're doing this. As Abraham Hicks likes to say, when you get tuned in to the energy that creates world, the universe will match you with others with similar vibrations. It's almost like a cosmic dating service. These teammates will enter your vibrational sphere, like attracts like, and together you'll be able to square the energy until it explodes exponentially into a juicy new world and delicious new way of being. Number one guideline, play and have fun. That is, and always, to be the ultimate, will be the ultimate energy generator. Create a protective circle so each of you will feel safe and valued. It doesn't require a four-hour commitment. Maybe you'll do it over the phone, but it's important to enlist others. So right here on this Facebook group, we've got it. We've got it. Share stories, inspire one another, make up new experiments. My group proposes a different experiment each week. And these can be anything from calming the energy in a busy, hectic room, works like a charm. You just radiate peace and stillness and watch how it changes the energy. In, for example, a restaurant or a highly charged meeting to changing the tenor of a relationship in which you hold automatic judgments and conclusions. My group has a ball reporting back about our successes and about the times we failed to move out of the old school conditioning, both powerful lesson plans. It's imperative to talk about focus on life the way you want it to be. And instead of asking the question, what's wrong? Probably the most repeated question in the entire English language. Focus on what's right. That's the only question that really means anything. The answer is the new, more joyful story you're endeavoring to create. 
During every get together, share examples of how your life is improving and growing. And as always, appreciate, embellish, affirm, and dream as you keep these three things in mind. Number one, you are awesome. Whether you realize it or not, you are tremendously powerful and an energetic being. Currents of possibilities run deep through your bones. Two, the great field of potentiality is unlimited. Absolutely, anything is possible. All it takes is the willingness to open your mind, surrender old school conditioning, and continue to expand into more joyful, freer, bigger ideas. And three, we're all in this together. If we can take care of one another and go the extra mile to appreciate and play together, we all gain. Each one of us is lifted up. Sure, we could walk alone to the finish line, but the real joy comes back from tackling the journey together, from raising our voices in one mighty unified, woohoo! So that concludes Eat Squared by Pam Grout. However, it doesn't have to be the end of our journey. And if you are curious about investigating this work further, um, always expanding, always getting better, always learning new tools of how to manage your energy. And maybe some of the experiments didn't work out the way you'd hoped, but it was still fun to be expectant. And that is the primary energy that we want to hold on to, the curiosity of how can this get better? How can it get better than this? I know it's never been better before, but maybe just this once. I'm curious how it's going to work out for me. And if we keep that curiosity, in our day, instead of expecting the same old, <laughs> it'll happen. It opens the door of possibility. So I want to offer to you a phenomenal experience of seeing, actually seeing the areas that are blocked in your life, your deservability level. And in this opportunity, you will see and be able to see yourself change that level of what you believe you deserve. We will also investigate how our mind is programmed and how to break those programs. Once knowledge is power, right? And once we can see something, so much easier to change it. So I hope you join me on my next opportunity for you that I'm offering to you. It's coming up the 28th of April and the link to register is in the chat here, the discussion. Uh, it's www.yourblissfuljourney.com forward slash deserve ability forward slash. And register there. It's a fee of only $17. And you're going to learn some tools and some information that is going to open your mind to how much you really can affect your level of what you believe you deserve. So I hope to see you. This has been so much fun. I've had a blast sharing with you how powerful you are through the words of Pam Graft. Let's do it again. Bye for now. Be a savvy traveler. Pay attention to what you want and be clear on it. You've got this.